Hi guys, in this video we're going to be painting the sloth. So get your canvas out. You're gonna need your paint with your paint, your plate with your paints. I've got white, blue, yellow, black, and this burnt orange, it's called Venetian red. Um, you're gonna need your jar with some water. That's just for cleaning out your brushes. And then you'll keep your brushes in the jar when you're not using them. I have an assortment of brush sizes. Um, big, medium, kind of small, and then a very small, like, outlining brush. Whatever you have, I'm sure will be fine. And then, of course, you need a towel just to dry your brushes off after you clean them in your jar. I'm going to get started with the background, and we're going to use blue and white. I'm going to mix my paint using this kind of medium, smallish brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of my blue and stir in with a lot of my white. It's light, but not like super, super light. So just make sure you stir up enough to fill in your whole background. Don't use all of your white. You're going to need that for other parts of the painting. So something about like that is perfectly fine. If it's a little lighter, that's fine. A little darker will also be fine. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush and just kind of fill in all my small little parts. And then I can come back and use a bigger brush to do the bigger areas. So I'm just being careful not to paint anything on the sketched out part, just doing the background. I'm going to do the whole background. between his little arms. So I'm just doing the parts right now that I'm going to have, that I would have a hard time with a bigger brush. And then I can come back and use my big brush to fill in everything out because it's great big open space. So big brush, I can easily just come in and fill in these other areas much quicker. And using a bigger brush leaves behind less brush marks which is always a good thing. So just very light-handed, nice long strokes. Just get your paint spread out nice and thin and even. You don't want any globs. And there we go. I'm just gonna kinda get in there a little bit, just cause that smaller brush left so many brush strokes. Just try to clean that up a little. There, so background complete. Next I'm going to paint my sloth. You know what, I think I'll do the little branch thing he's laying on first. So I'm gonna make a nice dark green. 
So using my medium brush, I'm gonna take some blue and stir in with quite a bit of yellow. And I've got this nice green color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white and stir that into that. And that's just gonna help me get better coverage. When you add white in, it just helps cover the canvas. So scrape the excess, grab a little bit of white and stir that in as well. So it's still nice green. And I'm just gonna come in, a little bit of paint on my brush. I don't need big thick globs. And I'm just gonna come in and just paint this whole like branchy thing that my little sloth is kind of laying on. Okay, so I've got that nice and smoothed out, even coat. And I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, just on my dirty brush, just some plain blue. You can just kind of stir whatever's on your brush in. And then I'm gonna put like little bark marks. So just some lines, kind of long, little lines into my green branchy thing. Get up under the head a little so it's like a little shadow. Get around the arms. A little shadowy. Under his belly. So there I've got my branches all done. Very nice. Next I can work on Mr. Sloth. I'm gonna do his whole body. Cleaning out my brush really well. So I might as well just do his face first. Cause that's gonna be just white. And that's nice easy stuff will get out of the way. Just getting all the blue color out of my bristles. And just using white paint, you're gonna paint the face. So I'm gonna go around the little eye shapes. You can go around the nose, or you can paint all right over the nose. It will still show, just so long as you have thin paint. If you glob your paint on, you're gonna have a hard time seeing those lines. So just do nice thin paint. Go right over his little, little mouthy. All right, so now I can do the body. We don't really need to clean out our brush because we're gonna be adding a lot of white into the color that we make, but we're gonna make kind of a brown color. So I want this orange color and black, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of black and stir it in with quite a bit of orange. So it just kind of turns this kind of reddish brownish color, not really red, orangish brown. But like if you think of hair, it's kind of like red hair. 
So I've got that color. I'm gonna make a little bit more just cause my swath is kind of big. So I'll just start over, same process, a little bit of black. And with my orange, a lot of my orange. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit of that to the side to save for later. So I'm just gonna keep that for later. Maybe a little bit more, I just don't wanna run out. So that will save for later. And in this color, we're going to add a lot of white. So just a nice, light brownish color. So maybe a more white. It's gonna be kind of this tan. And with that color, just go ahead and fill in everything around that piece that we painted white. So you'll go around the head, around that little face, careful on your edges. Get that um, pencil line covered though. And right now I'm just using kind of a small to medium sized brush. Once I get over into the rest of the body, I can use a bigger brush. And I'm gonna switch over to my bigger brush now and just get the rest of the slot filled in. So just cleaning that out, drying it off. Come in with the same color paint and just get his whole little body painted.
Okay. So I've got him filled in nice and even. Just kind of touching up the little areas here and there where I've got some bad brush stroke marks. Next, I'm going to put in some um, like dark spots on his fur. And we're gonna use that color we reserved earlier. So I've got this darker brown here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to it. I don't want it nearly as light as the previous color. I want it to show up. So as you can see, this color is much darker than what I used for his body. So I'm gonna do inside of his eyes. that one done. Take your time. And I'm going to put some shadows in on the paws, like the arms. So right in here, we can kind of brush a little bit more get a little of that darker brown on right in here get up around this little curve here a little I'll brush some on this one a little under there too and I'll get a little here as well and kind of under his belly just a little and mine is blending nice because my paint is still wet. So if you want yours to blend nice like mine, just so long as your paint is wet, it should work really well. If it's not wet still, you can just take a little bit of the original color we painted him and smooth it out over top and it'll blend right in. So I'm going to add kind of a little bit of a scruff to the top of his head. And then I'm going to just kind of give him like little fur marks down his body. Maybe blend that a little, get that to blend with a little bit more of that original brown. And I'm just going to kind of brush it on just all over kind of his back. My strokes have a bit of a curve. I'll take a little bit more of my lighter brown. Just so he's got some like fur marks. So next, I'm going to let this dry. Um, we can go back to the face later and finish that up. We're going to now just put in a bunch of leaves. So with the green color that we already have on our plate that we painted that like um, branch that he's laying across, I want you to take a scoop of that and set it aside for later. So just take a scoop, set it aside for later. And then you're gonna take a lot more yellow, stir it into part of it here. And we're gonna add quite a bit of white to that as well. My white is a mess. I need a quick little squirt of nice clean white to work with. So now I've got some white. I'm going to take a big old scoop of that and stir that in as well. So I've got this nice light green. And with this color, we're going to go around and just put leaves in. So any which way you want to put them. I'll put one here in this corner. Got a leaf there. Maybe I can have one that comes down with it underneath. Across the top here, put a big old leaf in. And they come right off the top of my canvas. They're like right off the edge. You can put one here. Maybe just a singular guy, just one all by itself here. And these can go anywhere you want. 
just have a good time. Paint and leave in. Maybe I can get one in this corner. Big one. Some on the sides coming in maybe. Maybe we'll have one here. couple down here in this corner. How about nice great big ones in here. It's got lots of room. Just one that's all by himself right here. And then a little cluster of two on the side. How about one like this and one like this? And then I'll just fill them in. smoothing out my globby paint and now we're going to layer on top of these with some darker green so we saved some green out from earlier and we're going to use that color to brush on some dark parts so just kind of break our leaves up so I've got this little scoop that I set to the side I'm going to add just a little bit of white to it so it's still darker and I'm just going to brush some dark green on each of the leaves so we can kind of see that they're separate. So I'll put this one here and a little on that guy. So it's just a little on one side or the other of the leaf. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of blue on my brush and stir that in to that same color I just used. And I'll put just a little bit of this color on. Just a smidge. And I'm doing it to the same side that I put the green on, but just a much lighter, thinner, not really lighter, just a thinner mark. There. So now I can go back into my slop face. I'm gonna give him a little nose. And I'm gonna just use my small brush. And using the dark brown color, not really dark brown, but we use this dark darker brown that we painted in here and put these marks for fur in the shadows. Just take a little bit of black and stir in with that. And if you don't have any more of that color left to make it, you're just gonna mix this orange color with some black, add a little white, and then just add a little bit more black to it. So I'm kind of just mixing my color up using my medium brush. I'm going to paint using my small brush. 
Give us just a tiny little nose. Where is my small bug? I don't know. So I just got a small brush here. And with this kind of grayish brownish color, I'm just gonna fill in his little nose. Then I'll take a little bit of my light brown color, kind of scrape off that. A little bit of this lighter brown and maybe just a little light spot on the side. So just using plain black now, I'm gonna put in the eyes and the little mouth lines. So they're just little swoops for the eyes. One in right here, and one right here. And then for the mouth, it's just this line down and across for a little smile. Okay, so next, I'm gonna give him little toenails. And I'm going to make a nice dark gray. So white into some black of this nice dark gray. And I'm going to just put like four little lines. One, two, three, four. Little toenails. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And I'm gonna take white and do the same thing, just kind of overlapping slightly onto the gray that we just did. It's just white paint, my small brush, kind of overlap onto the gray a little bit. Right up close tight on top of it, just a smidge. Now he has his little toenails. And I believe that finishes our sloth. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to sign my name. And when you guys are finished, sign your names. Please take photos. I love seeing your finished work. Um, you can upload those to my pa Facebook page, Willy Nilly. They have a post pinned right to the top where you can find it real easy. You just upload your folders there and I can see. You can also check out what everybody else has done while you're there. A lot of people have shared their work. I love it. So thank you. I'm just going to get my name on there and shut her down. Let's see. Brynn, B-R-Y-N-N. -N. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.